Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I'll show you some quick and easy painting techniques to paint your favourite miniatures. In this video, I'll be using Bangalore, the 40mm model that came in the Apex Legends board game. Now, this video isn't sponsored, but they did sponsor me to make a video showing you what's in the box and a battle report as well. But I really like the models and I wanted to get them painted up. So I thought this would be a great way to share with you some techniques that you can use to maybe paint some models for the first time or to speed up your painting so that you can get the models from the box to the table in no time. Okay, let's get started. So here is the model, the Apex Legends Bangalore model. It's a 40mm model that's been primed black and then dry brushed all over in white. And this is going to make it really nice to take those contrast paints. The first paint I'm going to use is Basilicanum Grey. And I'm not using a, a massive brush here and I'm also not loading my brush up with a ton of paint. I'm just looking to put a nice even coat over all the parts of the model that I want in this colour and I'm gonna let the texture of the model do all the work for me. And that's the beauty of these contrast paints. They're gonna go into all the recesses. You're gonna get some shade. The paint's gonna seep away from the more raised edges of the model, and that's gonna give you your highlights. So very simple. Next, I'm gonna take the contrast skeleton horde, and this is gonna go over a lot of the clothes, a lot of the material, and this is gonna give a nice like pale tan color. And you can see I'm using the texture of the model to wipe that paint off the brush, because I want a little bit extra to go into those recesses. And that's the key with these contrast paints, working it around, pushing and pulling the paint, using the texture of the model to get it exactly where you want it. And then on the flatter areas like this, just be a bit more careful not to pull too much paint. Next up, we're gonna take Black Templar, and this is gonna be for the base of the boots here. So again, a nice coat. This is a really good paint that gives a great leathery effect once it's dried, and it's very dark as well, so it's gonna really cover that white nicely. Then I'm picking out other parts of the model that I want to be black, like the little transmitter here on the back. And then I'm gonna go around the rim of these little boosters here. Now, they've got a little tiny groove in there, that splits the different sections. So use that to your advantage and just be very careful. Take your time, move the model so that you're not having to move yourself around it and get your wrists on the table so you've got a nice firm base so you're not shaking too much. Then onto the hair, and this is the bit that I was taking my time a little bit more with. I'm gonna put a fair amount in the ruffles of the hair on the top, but as it gets down to the shaved area, I'm just making sure I don't have too much paint on my brush. And you can see here, I'm just dabbing it on very carefully. I'm using the texture of the hair to wipe away most of the paint from my brush. And then what's left, I'm just painting, almost stippling on. Then it's snake bite leather, and this is gonna be great for all the leather straps. This is one of my favorite paints from the contrast range. Such a great effect for hardly any effort whatsoever. And you can see I'm just painted in those sections, trying to eye the model and see where it looks better, spreading it out between the colors. Then some contrast militarum green. This is gonna be really nice to break up those browns, greys, and the black that we've got. And I'm going a little bit off the box art here, just adding the green on. I think it needs it just to break it up a little bit on the model. And then I'm picking out the section here underneath on the chest. Just be careful when you're going into these areas. And then also we've got the little knee pads as well. And if you make a mistake, you can always just go back with some white paint and then go over it again. But just take your time. Next, contrast Blood Angels Red. And I felt this needed just a little touch of red, like an accent colour, to break up all those greens and browns. So I did that on these little grenades. One thing you'll find with contrast paints, it's not great for painting white. So what I'm gonna do is take some White Star from Two Thin Coats. This is my favorite white paint I've found. I think it's brilliant, it shakes up really well, it's got a ball bearing in there, and this is an awesome paint, I really like it. I'll be doing more from this range on the channel as I paint more models soon. But here we go, I'm gonna now block in this booster with the white paint. I'm gonna do a couple of coats, two thin coats, funnily enough, and then once that's dried, we'll move on and add some shade to it. But while it's drying, I took some Fire Slayer Flesh. This is a great color for all the flesh tones. And then I'm gonna pop that on there. They do some nice ranges, Gilliman Flesh, Fire Slayer, Gore Grunter, all sorts of ones. But I've gone for this color. I think it works nice on the black undercoat with the white dry brush. And then use that texture of the model to get in the recesses and get those shadows really coming through. 
Next up is Contrast Agarus Dunes, and I'm going to use this on the base. So I'm going over all the rocks and the dirt. I'm leaving some patches that are more flatter, and I'm going to do a different colour in a wet blend in a second. So cover most of it in Agarus Dunes, and then move on to Contrast Gillum and Flesh. And this is an odd choice, but it's going to work really nicely with Agarus Dunes. Let it wet blend and bleed into each other for some nice effects. It's a bit like watercolour paint in this, the contrast paints, but that's going to match the board that comes in Apex Legends. Next up I took some shade paint, some null oil, and that white's dried, so I give it a pretty generous coat, really working it into those recesses. This will bring out all the texture of the model again, and this is a great way to do it. You could use a contrast white over it, but I find it's just a little bit too grey for my liking. I'm going over the hair a little bit as well, just on the top, and then just to darken those recesses all over the rifle, and then just picking out little bits you think might need it. Base. Lead Belcher is next, now we're on to some metal painting, so I'm going to pick out parts of the weapon here that I want to be painted in metal, the magazine, the barrel, things like that, and then once that's dried I'll go back over it with null oil just to bring out the texture again and just dull it down, and then if you wanted to you could go over it with a highlight, but I didn't, didn't do that here, I like the gritty earthy look of the whole model. I also put a little bit of paint on these little rivets on the back just to make them stand out a little bit and break up that white grey and then finally just picking out little buckles all over the model. And that's it! That's Bangalore from Apex Legends, the board game painted to a tabletop ready standard using contrast paints and some really quick and easy techniques that I think anyone starting out would really have a great time doing. When I first started painting miniatures I really struggled with the traditional layer technique and contrast paints really saved the day for me and I hope that this video helps you to have the confidence to get started, paint up some models that look really nice on the table but don't take all that long or a high level of skill to do. The main thing with contrast paints is to take your time, be very neat, try not to go over the lines too much and just have fun doing it. Uh, but Contrast paints are great for textured models like this, but I've also used the contrast paint on these crates, and although they're large, flat areas, it took the paint really well, and it gave some really nice effects, and then I went over it all with a dry brush at the end to dull it down and make it look really battered, weathered, and worn. They're a big part of the game, so I wanted them to stand out while still tying them in with the look of the models and the look and the aesthetic of the whole game, and I think this worked really nicely. These colours are Flesh Terror Red and the Skeleton Horde over again, a black prime with a white dry brush and then dry brushed some Tyrant Skull over the top of that and we're good to go. And really quick, really fast, you can get these models done in no time. All of these here probably took me about, what, 20-30 minutes each? It's that fast once you get going and once you've had a bit of practice you can get them done really quickly. But I would say when you're starting out it might take you maybe an hour per model, which I think is pretty acceptable to get them on the tabletop and ready to play. And in box sets like this, you only got, what, four or five models? And even in other skirmish games, you're not looking at many, ten maybe at the most. So I think these techniques can really help you get them all done within a day, which is plenty of time on a weekend. You could spread it out over two days and then you're ready to play and get hours and hours of fun out of your models. I hope you enjoyed this video, hope it gave you a little idea of just how easy contrast paints are to paint with and I hope you give it a go. But thanks so much for watching, if you did like the video please hit the like button, that'd be awesome. If you've been enjoying my videos lately it'd be brilliant if you'd consider subscribing to the channel, that really helps get the videos out there and if you want to find out more about Apex Legends the board game check out the sponsored video I did where I go through all the contents of the box and there's a battle report coming up very soon as well. So lots to look forward to for this really fun game with some awesome miniatures. I'm in a bit of a painting mood at the moment so look out for more painting videos as I catch up with my pile of shame and there'll be more coming up on the channel very soon painting miniatures from all different games. So I look forward to sharing them and I look forward to seeing you here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters for helping me to keep going with these regular videos. I couldn't do this without you and I appreciate your support so much. If you'd like to join the Patreon community, support the channel, get some great perks at the same time, there's a link down below in the description. It'll be awesome to see you there.